up, snitches? I'm the Animaniac, and this week's stop on the foreign animated movie marathon is Mexico, with a spooky film titled Anna and Bruno. Directed by Carlos Carrera, it follows a little girl named Anna who escapes a mental hospital to look for her father so he can save her mother who's in that mental hospital. This movie spent 13 years in production and is the most expensive animated movie produced in Mexico. Its budget was 104 million pesos, roughly 5.35 million dollars US. Only for it to rake in a measly 21.3 million pesos, which equates to 960 million dollars. The suspected reasons for this poor turnout was parents walking out of the theater saying that it's unsuitable for their children despite it's for all audiences rating. The movie contained real life issues like mental illness and death. That sounds like some of the subject matter any other animated movie could tackle with maturity and dignity. Along with its dark tone parents claimed was too depressing for children. So is the movie any good despite all that? Well, the first thing you'll notice when watching this movie is the animation. It has this uncanny feel to it which works with the imaginary monsters from all the patients at the clinic. It gives it a distinction between what's supposed to be real and what isn't. What restricts the movie from exploring its ideas is its structure, which I understand you need to draw in a movie going audience, but a journey film plot? Okay, I will admit the friendship she has with a blind homeless kid is sweet, but personally I would have preferred if the movie focused on the doctor trying to understand cure her condition. That part I would have found interesting if the doctor looked, well, normal. Anna and Bruno had some very interesting ideas to explore and tries to make an okay use of the cheap, uncanny CG, but it's held back by its traditional, if not cliched, story structure and characters. Anna and Bruno is just acceptable. Guys, have you seen Anna and Bruno? If so, what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. If you guys want to stay updated on future videos and see some cool artwork, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and DeviantArt. The links are in the description. And if you want to be the first to know when a new video will be up, ring that bell after you subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.